So I'm going to create this two column design pattern with an image left, text right. So with Pixel Perfect Pro enabled, drag in your sketch and make sure everything's aligned up correctly. Once you're happy with that, you can disable Pixel Perfect Pro. So the first thing to do is to add in a group block and then of that group block, make sure that the alignment is set to full width. And then I also want to change the content width to 850 pixels. And I'm also going to change the styles and give it a background color of green. I also want to give it some padding, so I'm going to pad that out a little bit. So in my group block, I want to add in two columns. And in the first column, I want to add in an image. So I'm going to go to my media and I'm going to go to Openverse. I'm going to search for cats. I'm going to dump this cat in and I'm going to just take the captions off. I also want to change the aspect ratio to square. So in my second column, I want to add in a heading. And of that heading, I want to ensure that it's set to H1 and also set to bold. I also want to add in some paragraph text, but I want to make sure that that paragraph text margin is set. So I need to go to settings, dimensions, margin, and set it to one or two units. So going to my list view and make sure I've got my column selected, I want to make sure that the vertical alignment is set to middle. I also want to put some space between the blocks. So I need to go to my settings, styles, and look for block spacing and add some space. So I'm going to review what we've done so far. So enable Pixel Perfect Pro, overlay your sketch, just line everything up, make sure you're happy with everything. And I'm happy with that. So I'm going to disable Pixel Perfect Pro and ensure that I've got my group selected. I'm going to go and create a pattern. I'm going to call it something sensible like two column, image left, text right. Go ahead and create. And there you have it.